I don't pass judgment on anybody, but this pastor did. And I told him, I said, you got to hit your knees and ask for forgiveness. And he goes, well, I'm a pastor. And I said, I don't care. <laughs> you don't judge people. Period. Bat, ugly, skinny, thin, drunk, addict. You don't judge. I still laugh about this. Uh, the day I had cake with my friend Joe. Uh, he was in his 60s, Italian, small, thin, uh, but strong, uh, a face weathered from long days of living on the streets, uh, a no-nonsense kind of guy, uh, tough, smart, blunt to the point of rudeness sometimes, and really kind of grumpy. So one day he invites me to have some cake with him. This was a first uh, he usually kept to himself. And as we ate, he started to laugh. This was a first, too. Uh, Joe never laughed. And then it hit me why. Joe, you got this cake out of the dumpster, didn't you? I remember when I first met Joe a couple of years earlier. It was a cold, wet day, sleep coming down hard. For a few days, I had seen this older man hanging around outside the church where I was a pastor. I was pretty sure he was homeless and sleeping in a little cubby hole where we kept our trash cans, where there was a little protection from the weather. I ignored him. But it was so miserable outside that I said hello and asked if he wanted to spend the night in one of our vacant rooms. He took me up on the offer and stayed for the next six years. Joe taught me a lot about homelessness, like how to eat out of a dumpster. He broke down a lot of my stereotypes. So generous. He once gave away a sleeping bag that I had just bought him because someone needed it more. I saw a tenderness in him when he was around animals, squirrels and birds, especially cats. Uh, they cracked his tough exterior. Once, I asked him why he didn't move someplace warmer, and with a vulnerability I'd never heard before, said, where would I go? This is home. I'm loved here. Joe helped me let go of many of my judgments about those whose lives were different from my own. He taught me not with lectures, but simply sharing his life with me and showing me that everyone has a story to tell that's worthy to be heard. Mostly he reminded me that all people, no matter where they make their bed, are human beings to be valued and loved for who they are. Joe died several years after the cake. Still, whenever I meet someone who's experiencing homelessness, I see a human being no different from myself. I wonder, what do you see?